We are on the B side. I am Ingrid B. This is Orville the Poet. This is our first time meeting each other. It's our first time. Very first life. time. And yeah. you are on the B side. I'm on the B side. And we like you here. Well, I'm, I'm happy to be here. I had a great time here. I'm glad. I hope that you will be back. Because uh, we got to go on tour, right? We about to <laughs> let's, let's do it. I'm, with all the shenanigans. All with the all, the sh all the things. All, all Orville, the things. All the things. Orville. Oxtail or jerk chicken? Oxtail. Rice and, rice and peas or rice and beans? Rice on peas. What is rice and peas? Rice and beans. I need Jamaicans to stop calling the rice and beans rice and peas. We'll never do that. Why? I rice on peas. <laughs> I cannot. So you host events in the DMV area. Um, why? When you, I know why I host and why I curate. What is your motivation for putting the events together, taking the financial risk, taking the risk of whatever it is that you have to, to put it on, um, but clearly, you know, having those successful moments, those not so successful moments, what is it that keeps you going? Um, I sit on stage tonight, uh, you know, a big part of it is my mom, uh, you know, she saw something in me early that I didn't see for myself, but also a bigger part of it is because I want to be the change I want to see. Poetry for far too long has been an appetizer when we know it's the main course. Most definitely. Every artist you respect in music and rap and R&B and whatever has been a poet first or respects this craft wholeheartedly. So, uh, you know, I keep hearing what poetry's not doing, but I keep seeing what it is doing. You know what I mean? So that's why I take the risk. Uh, I think it's very important. It's an art form that has been around for ages and ages and ages. And now is the time that it is front and center. Amanda Gorman, shout out to Amanda Gorman. She pushed spoken word forward a decade easy. Um, you know, with that inaugural speech uh, with Joe Biden and I've stayed in my lane until it opened up, and it's wide open. And if you are a spoken word artist, and you have been about spoken word poetry for the last 10 or even five years, then people are coming to you for spoken word poetry. So uh, my job is to just highlight the artists in and around my area and so we can grow. You like hosting more or curating? Both. Equally? Equally. Uh, I really enjoy both. Uh, curating, uh, you know, it's really like a scientist, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You got to put this concoction with this concoction to make this concoction. And you got to know what this artist is bringing, this artist is bringing, and this artist is bringing. Hosting uh, is really like, you know, retalks. You know, you got to be quick on your feet. Mm -hmm. You got to think quick. The artists give you. Do people ask you, like, I want to, like, I want to start hosting. How do I do it? And I'm like, there's nothing I can tell you hey, edit this other part. than edit be yourself. Face. Edit that face I just made. It uh, happens. Uh, a lot. This this live. Yes. Oh, no. Shit. No. No. It's not uh, live. It's not live. Okay. Good. Um, man. So it happens a lot. Uh, people ask that, and. I think in order to be a good host, you have to be able to roll with the punches. You know, if you're one of those people that, you know, your whole day and your whole life is thrown off and something doesn't go your way, please don't host, ever. Don't do it. Because something's going to go wrong every show. Or curate. Or curate. You can't. All you, you can. can do is lay the foundation and then pray. It's kind of like raising children. The first seven years, you pour into them and then you pray. I don't know nothing about raising children. But, um, yeah, like you said. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like that, you know, because uh, people don't care about the behind the scenes. They care about getting what they paid for and what you advertised. And if you can take that 
and move like that and not internalize that, then you'd be all right. But if, if you're one of those people that get butt hurt over something not going your way, please don't host. Please don't curate. It's not for it you. Is, it is not easy, but it is for those of us that it comes naturally to. So when people ask me, I'm like, you just got to be yourself. And if yourself is not quick, if yourself can't just come back off the cuff with something that when you know responds if you can't yeah, if you can't down. command the room if you can, and i mean it takes it takes work it's not it like takes, the first it does, time it does take work it does you take get work. on stage you immediately or did you immediately have it i immediately had it <laughs> uh, but were but, you hosting but, first or doing poetry first i was doing poetry first okay so you had some practice being on stage absolutely. and being in front of Absol people absolutely. absolutely i got thrown on the stage i was like uh uh well, ain't me no too. way me too so shout out to my homie uh just me just me. Uh, How from many the just do we have? We got just Greg, just me, just what? It, what? What is? What is the just? There, there's a lot Does of it just. mean something? Um, it means just. Uh, okay. I, so position. I, 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 don't I, I don't know, but just me is he's just himself. You know. Okay. I mean? But uh, shout me out to too. just me. He uh, he's the person. Like literally, he he was like, yo, you should host. And I was like, bro, I just know two poems by heart. I just learned these shits. Like, what are you talking about? He was like, no, you should host off. And I was like, uh, okay. Because he saw it in you. And literally, the next month, he posted a flyer with me hosting and tagged me on it. And that's how I started hosting. That's, that's the kind of friends we all you need. You need friends like that to push you past yeah. your comfortability. Yes, definitely. Absolutely. I'm a Taurus. I'm stubborn. So, like, I'm today I was having... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm when is your host. birthday? Oh, Lord, here we go. I know what I am because oh, someone told me. You must be a Virgo. Let's nope, move on. Nope. nope. I'm the other one that everybody be all Aquarius. Like, nope. Oh. It begin with a G. Oh. Gemini. Oh, see? Yeah, the whole room. Gemini. Oh. Geminis are lovely. They are. Both of them. Let's move on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is terrible. I don't. I don't have any. Beef. I don't have any beef. Okay, good, good. And listen, good. this is going to be edited because right now this is just conversation. I already planned out okay. Lamont's conversation. Um, even though I'm kind of having fun with this. No, you I'm know. having fun with this. Thank you. So smiled. once again, this good. is your very first time on the B side. Very first time. Um, I've been doing this for 20 years. You've been in in the game for about 10. So hold on real quick. Yes. Hold on real quick because it's very important for me. To give people their flowers while they can still I like chocolate. smell them. Well, I have allergies. Uh, all right. Give you your <laughs> sweets, your compliments. There you go. Whatever you want to yes. call it. Yo, your professionalism has been uncanny. Thank you. From before I even flew here to touching down, I knew exactly what was going on the whole time. You communicated with me. You made sure. Bow, 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 bow. I appreciate that. I think from you. someone that is an event planner, curator, and whatever, this has been seamless. So artists coming to the B side, uh, mm -hmm. do your part because she's gonna do her part. <laughs> okay, professionalism A one. All right, pop 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 pop. As long pop, as you pop. act right. I don't know nothing about that. As long as I'm you act right. I'm professional all the time. I act right. Right. So I just want to give you your, your your kudos because it's very important, man. Like. This craft, I've watched you from afar. I've admired you from afar for a good part of a decade. Like, wow, Florida. Everybody I talk to, oh, Ingrid, you got it. That's Ingrid. Ingrid B. B. That's where you been. You got, well, look, I had to get some confidence. We got family and stuff. To get bars. You to, get to come, bars. you know what I mean? Well, you definitely got the bars. We heard them tonight. Oh, thank you. They're in love with you. They're, you're I definitely going to be a fan favorite. I, I, so I hope that you want to be back because I'm going to call you to come back. I definitely and we definitely going to come to D.C. and rock I, with you. I want to be back. You want to be back. Bring me back. You want to be on the beach side. Like weekend. Yes, we have to do that. We have to do that. I dip my toes in the sand and hit the beach. All of the things. And now I'm just like, man, I got to fly out in the morning, but I'm good. <sighs> All of the things. But it was important for me to do that and to tell you that on Thank your you. platform that you're doing this shit at a high level. I think And I you. respect it and I've been respected it for a long time. I appreciate you.
And I thank you for doing the same in D.C. We need these things. You know what Absolutely. I mean? We need these. Absolutely. We've got Dichotomy in Atlanta. You're in D.C. I'm in South Florida. Let's let's keep this going. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Let's keep yes. it going. Build this yes. network of Absolutely. curators who really respect the art of spoken word and know that it is probably one of the most important art forms ever because it is the basis for everything. It is the foundation. My name is Ingrid B. This is Orville the Poet, and you are on the B-side. On the B-side. Drop a flex bomb right there or something like that. Yeah. All right, so Orville has...